welcome everyone welcome to the another interesting chapter of uh, of computer forensics uh, computer hacking and forensics uh, course the title of this chapter is disk examination and analysis uh, on windows operating system uh, since the technique to analyze the file the content uh, is d d different uh, uh, you know between the there's a difference between the windows operating system and the uh, linux operating system well uh, uh, you know after getting the uh, acqu after acquiring the disk image uh, and verifying its uh, value its hash values the next step it is to is to basically analyze the image uh, or, or analyze the disk image basically to find the possible evidences to find the uh, any suspicious file and to extract the evidence out of it uh, you should make sure that uh, while looking at the content content of the file while looking at the content of the disk you should not uh, only t take care of the visible content uh, because sometimes the, uh, the, the, the the criminal or the attacker you uh, simply delete or hide or even encrypted the important file the important evidence so you should check the hidden files you should check the encrypted files you should check the deleted files you need to recover the deleted files so recover the removed file and then analyze it the tool that i'm going to use is x is again uh, uh, providing by the access data corporation uh, and the two uh, and the name of the tool is ftk forensics toolkit forensics toolkit is actually premium software uh, you have to purchase the license uh, of the of the current stable version of the software uh, in this uh, basically demonstration I'm using the old uh, an old uh, version the demo version because since this is just a demonstration purpose how how you basically analyze the files and how the access data FTK actually works well let's uh, simply uh, I have already uh, I have basically already uh, you know uploaded the uh, acquired a uh, disk image here but I'm going to show you the process so that you will aware about it uh, open the exit at FTK click on the new new case here you need to mention the case let's say investigator name is the yeah King is investigating the case the, yeah, the case number is 045 case name is the USB drive image it is very important to maintain it to maintain the record uh, you need to save the you need to create the file of the case so I have uh, I, I, I told the software to save the file on the on my desktop with the name the USB drive image if you want to put the information the case description you can uh, you know uh, put the information here click on the next here you need to basically provide the examiner information what, what who organization is the company name of the exa examiner examiner's name address phone number fax email and other comments out there very important for management purpose you should not miss this uh, these these information by the way now in case log options it is uh, uh, now here you can select what kind of logs you want to look uh, into so here I have selected all the logs because I want to see everything in the image in the disk image this is again uh, to verify the hashes and to what else you want to do even you can see the registry reports uh, all right let's move further well here again you need to uh, provide the information related, related to your case of what type of file criteria do you want to choose uh, since I, I want to analyze everything even email messages multimedia graphics known and unknown folders files archives executables database spreadsheets and everything you know Th this is why I basically selected all the things you should select all if you want to uh, analyze all things here is the setting out there if you want just to analyze email then you can email emphasize text emphasize graphics emphasize and the optimal setting include all item click on the next button uh, sorry in this screen you need to add the evidence file the uh, acquired image that have already been acquired 
and the USB uh, it is active in case because I have as I told that I have already uh, basically I have already uh, uh, you know browsed this file so it says it gave me the error so this is the process after you browse your file you need to click click next and finish the option then the then this particular software will uh, start importing the file uh, so it, it may uh, it will take some time because imp the, the import may take some time because uh, and it, it depends on the size of the file here I have already imported the USB drive here as you can see in the Explorer tab this is the case USB is there is, here is the root folder their folder here you can analyze red one are the files that have already been deleted and cannot be accessed by a normal user if you try to access by by your explorer window you cannot uh, access this file because it, this file is not there it has already it has already been deleted so it says usb no name fair 32 this particular file name now there are many things here you can see pass.txt file is there you can see in the viewer the list of the password the k.mp3 if you want to basically a viewer is not available for this format yeah issue.mp4 and there are other files out there well view this is the summary summary of of your of your disk image of the disk image that you that you are an exa uh, analysis uh, uh, analyzing at the moment it says that there is a one document all right pass.txt no spreadsheet no database no graphics three multimedias and before files out there no email messages executables three executables executables which has uh, already been deleted archive no archive folder fours four folder slag or free space 172 other known type files basically this file unknown type the, these might be the uh, viruses because it says this is an unknown type uh, of file alert file nothing bookmark nothing bad extension 3 encrypted file, file nothing from email nothing deleted files are 20 as I said that you should check the deleted files and the encrypted files and from recycle bin nothing duplicate item and all the information are zero here so uh, since I, I'm I, I'm uh, analyzing a test uh, drive uh, and, and this test drive has nothing in it because uh, since it, this is j j just a test uh, but if you are analyzing a disk in a real time you will see you will find the graphics you will find the multimedia you will get the a lot of files because you know people used to store data in their drive so you will get a lot of files in the in the acquired image you will see the spreadsheets the documents the folders the executables email messages multimedia medias you need to examine everything you need to analyze everything and then you need to get the important information out of it you can simply you know even you can uh, you know uh, uh, what I was saying I was saying you can basically just uh, uh, launch the program with the associated program with the program viewer uh, you can simply basically analyze it you can see if it, it supports uh, here here you can see there is a tabs for the graphics if there is a graphics you can analyze the graphics if there is a special tab for the email if you want to uh, analyze the email the search option if you want to search any particular file so this is how this particular tool this important tool basically this is a very important tool it's it, it is it's saying it's giving a lot of important information so this is how you uh, basically uh, analyze the file examine the file and get the important information out of it get the uh, evidence noted down with the case number with the file number with the important information because you need to you need to have, have you need to present the important information in the code so uh, basically this is how you use the access data FTK tool uh, let me minimize it first so well at this stage uh, let me introduce or 
let me basically use another uh, another tool to uh, read or to view the content of the uh, image of the disk image and uh, the tool that I'm gonna show is the pro discover is a computer forensics toolkit let me okay when you open the file you it, it will it again ask you the about the information of the case that you want to create the project name the project uh, number USB drive image or the information if you want to produce open the project this is the pro discover this tool is available this pro discover basic is available for free but the premium version you need to pay the uh, to get the premium version all those important softwares basically are paid softwares uh, since computer forensics is the is is is, is the highly you know a paid job and so their tools are also very expensive well uh, let me open the image no usb.dd so the image has been loaded here if you want to view the cluster you can view the cluster cluster size here if you want to analyze the the structure the hexadecimal of the image you can do this here but if you want to view the content there is a two view is cluster view and the content view if you want to see the content then image select the one here you can see the list of uh, basically for uh, the uh, the folders and the file uh, are, are basically stored in the acquired disk here it says it is the mp4 file uh, it says that file cross means the file file has already been deleted the mp3 the .txt file every file here you can see all file has been deleted except this folder so what this for uh, what we have in the folder all final cross intensity operation all right I've, I've gone into the all folder here you can see the uh, file available uh, uh, issue k the pass or txt mp4 these file and the these files are still there but the rest of the file has already been deleted well this is how you basically uh, and see uh, use the pro discover tool to basically uh, get the information to uh, to uh, to know what actually uh, in the in the in the basically uh, in the uh, image acquired image you can copy the simply copy the file and paste on your drive if you want to see or if you want to analyze it here you can see that you uh, either you have already been store the file in your desktop similarly you can do this with the with any other file you can copy the file it will ask you to save save it on your desktop the desktop so that you can view the file so this is how you use uh, pro discover a very smart but a very but uh, but you know it is very easy to use this particular tool all right so this is uh, let's uh, close this chapter we have uh, discussed two tools that can be used to read the acquired image uh, image uh, images uh, the disk images you can find out the removed file you can find out the encrypted files you can even find out the the missing and you can even find out the clusters size and their files the slag space free spaces out there so this is how you do this uh, well, in the next chapter, where from the next chapter, we will start our, our investigation process in 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 Linux operating system and the operating system that I will use is Kali Linux. So, see you in the next chapter. Until time, take care. Bye.